um, the main two ways that we see someone we met a week ago that heard about our name. And what they do is they'll fill out a combat camera request form, which will outline what they want for the most part, and he's not really going to waste time on those type of missions that are going to pay. As ops, we're not going to hold your hand, but if you do have questions about the process, we will. I have a question. So do CED orders, uh, do all CED orders affect the draw time, or only certain CED orders? It, it's private. Nobody's going to know what you're saying. You're probably not getting your little card. Uh, that's all you're going to be about. Uh, IPR wants your guys' folder, which we'll go over in a little bit, to be ready the week prior. So they can look through everything. In my experience, you guys have six months. I, usually, you guys are required for your basic annual stuff. Uh, when you get selected for deployment based off HOA or in the rain guys that's why I got I was like I'm not gonna bury you I would have just kind of set it down like this <laughs> you put like an air thing under it and it just blows it up and it's you know trying to go home for free it's all boys on like that's the only thing we're drinking Yeah, no, it's hard to on the asphalt because it pulls right through the back. Okay. But you are filling. Sorry. I line it up uh, parallel with the tent. Oh, okay. Oh. No, 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 the, the top end. Because fold it in half. Yeah. So the, no, just, no, no, just, just walk, walk this, walk this end to me. Yeah. Okay. Just hold that and walk it. Yeah, just hold it and walk it. There you go. Yeah, that's like that. Beautiful. All right, here. Re read it? Sure I'm understanding it correctly. Like this edge going that way. Read it out. Yeah. Oh, anyway. And you're recording this, sir? Damn, okay. Attach liner to frame, the yellow fabric disc, identify the center rows. And then attach all liner clips facing outboard. So just make sure the center goes in first. And then we'll do the outside. around the lift so it won't do it for these green stakes right here 550 cord put the smooth side towards the towards the uh, 550 cord so it won't cut it okay so none of this 
smooth here. Stake it in. 20, uh, 30, 30 to 45 degrees is fine. Okay? This will lock it in place. Don't, don't hammer it too far deep, otherwise it's really hard to pull out. Because uh, we'll have to use this 50 cord or 550 cord to pull it back out. Here's these figure eights. Mm. A lot of wind. We might put these in. Maybe not the whole way, but right in that circle right there. Inside the loop. Yeah, there's a hole. Right there. right, with with that loop though. So the loop. Oh, this go will over. go in afterwards. It's a. It's afterwards. got a buckle. Okay, got it. Yeah. But uh, these will stabilize. It depends on how windy uh, it gets. We've never needed these. Mm -hmm. If it gets windy, we're gonna we're gonna have to rely so on. She wants to put like every other one just in. Hey, Gudex, once you're done, you mind making sure that stay, like once you go through. Yep. A little bit deeper. Like, uh, oh, yeah. Has a <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Sergeant LeBay went over all of the uh, deployment folder stuff with you? Yeah, he did. So, um, I'm pretty sure we gave you a letter selection. So, get that in tab one whenever you get a chance. What we're supposed to do as a team. Okay. Um, one last thing from you guys. A lot of you are more experienced than others in this group. Focus on getting your products done as your primary, and then see how you can help other people to get their work done. Uh, this isn't a competition between individuals. This isn't a competition about our team versus their team. This is us working together to make better products as a team, right? Because that's what you're doing when you're deploying. If one person makes the team look bad when you're deployed, I, I saw it at home myself. Like one person screwed up at ComCam. ComCam has a bad name now. So make sure you're working 
apart on your own. Give good. All right, guys. You guys are dismissed. You guys are good to go. Six fifteen tomorrow. Huh? All right. Hey, okay. Meeting here. Yes. Meeting. Here. So bring your gear. We'll we'll go from here to the to the tent. So six fifteen here with gear. Yeah. So I will. Yeah. I won't. I won't make you lug your gear up here, but have your gear like downstairs, and then we'll lug it over to the tent. Cool. Yeah. It'll be colder tomorrow, but yeah, it still sucks. So if anybody, does anybody have a fan? Do you have a fan on my butt? Yeah. Okay, but that's one small one. Do we have any additional? It, it goes. Definitely it really bring does. it. <laughs> it actually really does. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Brandon, that's inside. Do we have one? Anybody else? Any right. video on the light kit? You have to check them out now and turn them back in. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. um, Alright, so we talked about um, I have a cooler. Can somebody bring a whiteboard? I know we have plenty up here, but can somebody just bring it with them tomorrow? Or go take it downstairs today? So I just need a volunteer. Huh? You just ask one of the flight chiefs. I'm pretty sure we have like three or four hanging out back yeah, there. Yeah, I got some sitting around there. Okay, so can somebody take care of that? Doesn't matter who. I'll carry it, but someone needs to ask. <laughs> we'll bring some extra bug spray, but take care of yourself while you're out there, right? Sunblock, you're going to be on the flight line. Um, I'll bring external monitors. We'll bring the the Drobo and stuff like that. Yeah, so I'm going to have, I'll bring you like a six terabyte little hard drive so that when you guys are done editing, you, we can just drop everything on there so that when the time comes for multimedia piece, you guys can just get in there, pull stuff out, whatever you nut. Uh, whatever you want, and then, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Questions there, logistically? So we do need one for day two. Yeah, I got one for yeah. tomorrow. So. Keep in your mind how you want to do the story, right? So the first one, the scenario, leadership is eager to advertise the arrival of relief support to Bajor. The PAO has received, has received, no. the PAO has received, oh, that's all scenario two. Scenario two is the damage assessment. Uh, the commander basically wants to assess the damage of major cargo receiving hub. Um, the results from the assessment will aid the military with resupply efforts to the people and coordinate the rebuild of the cargo hub. There are locals that, locals that rode the storm out in the facility that remain unaccounted for. So, Again, you're just a laptop. So you're gonna go out there with a Sony A7S or a FS5, whichever you have. You're gonna help them plug it into the Mac. The Mac will be hooked up to the Divid Sish, and basically you're just holding that shot while Divids accepts the live stream, and this shows it to leadership that simulated yes, the supplies did land in the right spot or it didn't. So does that make sense? to that is uh without drawing attention getting all that stuff so i i think i guess sergeant Irma will walk us through like how to do that yeah and just in case we're also bringing like the potential of dealing with classified information right at that point so we'll have a blu-ray burner and some dvds to like give them all okay we got two more uh this is your stringer U.S. forces have set up a medical clinic to aid sick and injured Bajorians, meeting one of the commander's priorities. So I think for this one, honestly, they said that they were just trying to add variety to the visuals that you're going to get. But the idea is for you to go and doc. Be mindful. I'm sure they're going to talk to you about it. And you guys will have um, four hours or three hours to edit your um, multimedia product Thursday afternoon. How long does it have to be? One minute. So five second intro, five second close. And you guys can also, um, can we narrate? you're an only flyer, so you'll be capturing on Thursday a video. I'm still telling if you shoot both, but but um, we can use his, you guys can use his footage in the multimedia project. So he's an only flyer, so. Okay. Got it. Or if one of the, someone else has a really badass shot that you guys like and you want to put it in the multimedia product, you can do that too, as long as it's within the same team. You can't have the same multimedia project, but you can use people's footage. So we have, we're still set up to go to two-person teams where one's yeah. shooting video, one's shooting stills. So. I, where I came from, we we did a both, and we wrote stories, and escorted media. Oh, cool. 